Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is uh, June 6, 2023. We will now officially open this meeting of the Board of License and Inspection Review for today, June 6. Uh, everyone has been muted, uh, particularly uh, those who are not members of the panel because of uh, just need to limit the amount of background noise and distractions. Uh, I'd also ask, as your case is called uh, in this preliminary portion of the hearing, several cases have been continued. Uh, or otherwise resolved. If your case is called and you need some additional def uh, understanding of those definitions, the words that are being used, please call the administrator. The board administrator will explain those terms to you. But if your case is moot or moot compliant, uh, or if it's the request has been submitted for continuance and that is granted, then you are done for today. You don't have to hang around. But this is a public forum, so if you choose to stay until the very end, you're welcome to do that. Uh, you just will not be uh, able to participate or interject. And I ask that you not interject until your matter is called. Um, okay, uh, you can always put a chat comment in the chat section if there's a need to uh, communicate directly with the uh, administrator during the hearing, and they will be someone will respond to you. Thank you very much. Now the board itself will uh, respond now. Uh, we will all introduce ourselves as well as the other members of the um, panel. And I, preliminarily, I just want to say this, and because I see someone laying in a bed. Uh, this is a formal hearing, and if you are in bed, you will not be heard today. We expect you to be present. We expect you to be dressed properly. We expect you to be focused. And so if you're going to be napping during the hearing, uh, you're in the wrong place. And you can just turn your TV off. I mean, turn your device off because he won't hear you. Uh, I won't call out anyone. I'm just going to share that information. I ask that you present yourselves as if you were downtown at the CZ, at the courthouse or any other formal hearing process. Thank you very much. Again, I'm Kenneth Woodson, board chair. Ralph Pincus, board member. Steve Pettit, board member. Roger S. Tennant, senior board member. Ken Washington, board member. Cortez Patton, board member. Ryan McSherry, Board Council. Board Administrator. Thank you very much. Uh, is there a request? Uh, it won't, let me restate that. Does the, the law department have an individual assigned to uh, share with us any general matters that have been uh, resolved or continuous requests, et cetera? Uh, yes, good afternoon, Chairman. This is uh, Michael Rulo, R-U-L-L-O. I'm handling that on behalf of the city today. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Rulo. What do you have for us? Okay, beginning with number three, appeal ending 003-601-701 West York Street. The appellant is in Erjan uh, Peshkepia. I apologize if that is mispronounced. Uh, that matter can be marked moot complied. Okay, would you mind spelling that last name, please? Uh, P-E-S-H-K-E-P-I. A. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, moving, uh, moving on to number four, appeal ending 003-524-1001 Cotman Avenue. The appellant is a JD5 points incorporated. Uh, my understanding is that the appellant has withdrawn their appeal. That's confirmed, withdrawn. Okay. Um, turning to number five, appeal ending 002 858. Address is 2201 to 35 Cotman Avenue. The appellant is an Eric Kennedy doing business as Al Machinen Construction. Um, the violation in that case has been withdrawn by the department. Withdrawn. Thank you. Turning to number six, appeal ending 003 014 202 Erica Place. The appellant is a Vitali Orshenko. Um, that matter can be marked moot complied. Move complied. Thank you very much. Moving to number seven, appeal ending 003 525 30, at 3261 North Park Avenue. Mike Din doing business as NTP Holding LLC. That matter can be marked moot complied. Moot complied. Thank you. Moving to number 10, appeal ending 003 048 716 East Haines Street. Appellant is a Bessie Dixon. That matter can be marked moot complied. Moot complied, thank you. Moving to number, excuse me, 12, appeal ending 
5-5-3-9-5-3 East Price Street. Appellant is in uh, Reina Fields. That matter can be marked moot complied. Moot complied, thank you. Moving to number 14, appeal ending 003-549-5748 North Beachwood Street. The appellant is in Arid Aaron Boyd. Uh, my understanding is that has uh, that appeal has been withdrawn by the appellant. Okay, Mr. Wade, is that can you confirm that? Yes. Okay. Uh, the administrator has confirmed. Thank you. Moving on to number 15, appeal ending 003-469-1608 Locust Street. The appellant is in uh, Elgart Astor. Um, that matter is uh, moot complied. Moot complied. Okay. Thank you. Moving to number 16, appeal ending 003-396, uh, 2551 to 53 West Silver Street, uh, uh, Donnie Michelle J, or J Michelle Donnie, I'm not sure if that is ordered correctly. Uh, my understanding is that has been withdrawn. Withdrawn, okay, thank you. Moving to number 18, appeal ending 002-854-303 Pemberton Street, uh, Marta Cahill, um, my understanding is that has been withdrawn. withdrawn. Is Mr. Taylor uh, the attorney present? Uh, see his name here. Okay. All right. Maybe he isn't present. Thank you. That's withdrawn. Moving to number 19, appeal ending 003083-5334 Pine Street. Appellant is a Sayama Schuler. Um, that matter is moot complied. Moot complied. Thank you. Moving to number 20, appeal ending 003-119-7334 Pittville Avenue. Appellant is a Clayton Cargill. That matter is moot complied. Moot complied, thank you. Uh, moving to number 23-003-055-2566 Coral Street. Appellant is in Angela Romero Monsalve. My understanding is that has been continued and we just wanted to confirm that. I know that was a, is this a, a joint request for continuance? Um, I would default to the attorney, Mr. Johnson, um, to, to clarify that. I, I believe it, I believe it is, but if that's incorrect, Mr. Johnson can clarify. That, that um, request came in. It was the appellant was unavailable to receive medical treatment out of town. I believe. And for that reason, the city did not oppose the continuance. It was the appellant's request. Okay, balance of Chris. Okay, thank you. Mo moving to number 24. I believe there's a noise in the background here. Hold on. I got it. Hold on. Okay, Ms. Okay, Mr. Rulon, you can proceed. Moving to number 24, ending in 003-634-330 North Wilton Street. Appellant is a Renee uh, Nwankwo. Uh, that matter is moot complied. Moot complied. Would you mind spelling that last name, please? N W A N K W O. Okay, thank you. Moving to number 25, appeal ending 003256. Um, it looks so actually for number 25 and number 26, they concern properties that are next door to one another and the same appellant. So I'm going to read those at the same time. Okay. Um, 25 is 003256. 26 is 003255. 25 concerns 4731 Salem Street. 26 concerns 4733 Salem Street. And both uh, for both cases, the appellant is a Gil B. Perez. Both matters can be marked moot complied. Moot complied. Thank you. Moving to number 27, 002815, 1936 South Prosky Street. The appellant is Sabina Ahmed. Um, my understanding is that that was withdrawn by the appellant. Yes, withdrawn. Thank you. Moving to number 29, uh, 003548, a 2035 South College Avenue, um, a Daniel J. Keating company doing business as uh, search of insurance, excuse me. Uh, that matter can be, excuse me, it's Daniel J. Keating company. Um, that matter can be marked moot. It is not complied. The violations were issued in error. Okay, thank you. Moot. Okay. Um, moving to number 30, 
uh, appeal ending 0049002602 South 16th Street, a Ferrero Construction Group LLC. Um, that was a joint continuance request. I'm not sure if that has been granted, but just wanted to clarify that. Yes, that's granted. Okay, and then number 34, uh, ending 001896-7327 Keystone Street. Uh, appellant is a Galdor Incorporated. Uh, my understanding is that this was listed in error, and I just wanted to confirm that it was no, no longer on the list. Uh, no, that's that's listed in error, as well as two additional cases, which I'll come back to in a moment. Okay. Um, and then moving to number 36, 002612. 2521 West Master Street, uh, Laverne uh, Spence. That matter is um, moot complied. Moot complied. Thank you. And, uh, I actually missed one here. Uh, returning to number 22, ending 002-852-3843 North 17th Street. The appellant in this matter is a Charles Butler II. Um, just to make it clear for the record, uh, Mr. Butler is not listed as the record owner of the property, and the city's investigation revealed that the individual that the uh, was issued the violation is deceased. So we are going to be um, withdrawing that violation case. Okay, so you will just indicate it as moot, or just as the violation is uh, withdrawn. The violation would be a uh, uh, moot. Okay. All right. And you will reissue the violation at some point, I assume. Uh, at the discretion of the department, yes. Okay. And okay. Unless Thank my you. colleagues are aware of any that I missed or need to clarify anything that does it for me, um, there were two cases, excuse me, at least one case that I was going to draw the board's attention to as they are LLCs without an attorney. But I imagine we will get to that um, shortly. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else have anything from the law department? Uh, yes, Stephanie Hyman uh, with the tax unit. Okay. Um, matter number 13, ending 003555, um, 2071 Byberry Road. The appellant is Thackeray Crane Rental, Inc. Yes. Um, and that matter can also be marked as uh, moot complied. Moot complied. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just one moment. Is uh, Ms. Gernstein... Uh, present? I know she's listed as counsel. I did not see her in the participant list, but... Okay. It's moot complied. Okay. Thank you. Is anyone... Oh, yeah. yes. Sorry. Good afternoon, board. Caroline Curley on behalf of the city. Um, for number 11... Yes. Is, uh, appeal number HA 2022-003557. 4146 through 48 Parkside Avenue. The appellant is Nissan Levy, who I believe is here today. Um, the parties have reached an agreement on this. Um, we have not done a executed word uh, written agreement, so I'll just read that into the record now. Uh, before you do that, I just want to make sure that Mr. Nissan Levy is, in fact, present. I don't see his image anywhere. I see him, but I don't see his image. Or I see his name, not his image. Okay. Uh, Mr. Levy, if you're present, would you kindly turn on your uh, your screen, please? Mute. How can I do a mute? No, okay. I'm mute. Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you, but we need to see you. Uh, where is the um, camera? Stop video. Right. I hear more. Mute and audio. Stop video. So, so your video should be on. There might be something covering your actual webcam. Yeah, stuff is covering your camera. Uh, so the, there's usually like a slider. Try sliding your finger along the top. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay. Mr. Levy, I'm Kenneth Woodson, chair of the board. Uh, the agreement that was has been proposed that I believe you've agreed to uh, will be read into the record by, by Ms. Curley. Uh, once she's done that, I just need you to confirm that, in fact, you agree with those terms before we take a vote, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Ms. Ms. Curley? Yes. So um, the city and Mr. Levy have agreed that the violations contained in notice CF 2022-01-2285 will be uh, affirmed, and the penalty uh, included therein will be reduced to $2,000 
um, payable within 30 days. Okay, city affirm $2,000 fee, fine. Correct. Okay, thank you. Mr. Uh, Levy, do you confirm that yes, the fact that's the agreed upon yes, document? Sir. And will that be executed uh, forthwith? Um, yes, by close of business, yeah. Okay, thank you. Please share that for the file for the uh, administrator, please. Very good. Okay, I will poll the board regarding HA-2022-003557. Four one four six through four eight Parkside Avenue, Nissan Levy, City Affirm, two thousand dollar fine per agreement. City Affirm, a payment of two thousand dollar fine per agreement. City Affirm per the agreement with a two thousand dollar fine. City Affirm per the agreement with a two thousand dollar fine. City Affirm per agreement with two thousand dollar fine payable in thirty days. City of firm per agreement, two thousand dollar fine. Okay, one 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 thing I just want to note, though, Miss um, Washington, just want to note there were no payment terms. I don't believe Miss Curley was that in the on the in the agreement. It is included in within thirty days, but it, okay, it, thank you. Yeah. Just want to make sure if it's there, that's fine. Yeah. Well, let's let's amend the vote then to concur with Mr. Washington astutely noted that the payments be made in thirty days. Okay, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. Ms. Reinhardt, thank you, Mr. Levy. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, I am here for number 31. This is 20, 2801 Tremont Street. The owner is Bessem Schipa, um, and the owner is represented by attorney Sean Ward, who is present today. Yes. We have an agreement uh, and a request to make uh, to mark this case city affirmed with a 100-day stay of enforcement. Okay. City affirmed. 100 day stay of enforcement uh, per agreement. Is that it? Correct. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ward, uh, I just want to own a, please the name on the record, please. Yeah, Sean Ward, S H A W N, last name Ward, W A R D, attorney for the appellant. All right. Thank you very much. We will now <laughs> pull the board, H A 2022 00355050. 2801 Tremont Street, Bessem Sheepa, S H E P A, CD Affirm, 100 day stay, uh, additional enforcement per agreement. City affirmed 100 day stay of enforcement per agreement. City Affirm per the agreement with 100 day stay of enforcement. City Affirm per the agreement with 100 day stay of enforcement. City affirm per agreement with 100 day stay of enforcement. City affirm per the agreement 100 day stay of enforcement. Thank you very much. Mr. Anyone Chairman, uh, that concludes my business. May I be excused? Yes, sir. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. Ms. If if I may also clarify the record, um, I believe that the appellant's last name was just spelled S H E P A into the record, and it is actually X H E P A. Yes. Just, okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you for yeah, clarifying that, that. That is correct. That yeah, is okay. correct. And, and, and you pronounce, but you pronounced it correctly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least fifty percent. You know, more than four hundred. I'm working on it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Fernandez. Uh, he's been muted, so we'll need to unmute Mr. Fernandez. Thank you. I, I have unmuted myself. Thank you, yeah. uh, Chairman. Yes. Sir. Um, sorry, bear with me for one moment as I pull up my list. Uh, regarding case number nine on the list, appeal okay. number uh, ending in 3694, appellant Christopher Brown. I see that Mr. Brown is in the room, and uh, I will be requesting a continuance today. The inspector who wrote the violation that has been appealed, Inspector Mitchell McLean, uh, recently retired and um, through some sort of error, he was still listed as the assigned inspector um, on the, the uh, I guess, weekly report of cases. So uh, if the board accepts my request for continuance, I will speak with Mr. Brown, put him in connection with a newly assigned inspector. It'll probably be Inspector Salim Muhammad because I just spoke with the construction district supervisor. Have a reinspection done. If the dispute over the validity of the violation remains, we'll hash it out at the next hearing. But if um, there's uh, an agreement on whether the violation should be um, potentially withdrawn or rewritten, then it could render this matter moot. 
Okay, thank you. Mr. Brown, are you present? Just I am present. Just put just state your name for the record, please. Christopher Brown, C H R I S T O P H E R Brown. Okay, thank you, sir. Now you've heard the city's request for continuance. Are you okay with that? I'm okay with that. Okay, thank you. Please follow through with Mr. Fernandez and uh, his offer to put you in touch with the new inspector that may resolve this matter. And we apologize for any inconvenience that today's change was caused for your schedule. Have a good afternoon. You that matter well. will be continued. Thank you. Uh, if I if I may, uh, Mr. Brown, did you receive my email uh, from yesterday? I want to just confirm that I have the right email address for you. Uh, yes. Okay, fantastic. I'll follow up on there and we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. All righty. Have a good day. Anyone else? Uh, okay, not seeing any hands at this moment. The board does have a few matters to raise. Uh, number eight, HA 2022-003481. That's 2501 North 15th Street, the Petrini Corporation. Uh, who's representing the city in this matter? Good afternoon again. This is Michael Rulo, R-U-L-L-O, on behalf of the city. Mr. Rulo, the issue is raised in this matter is that this is clearly a corporation that's well known to us. Is there legal counsel for this company for today's hearing? I have not heard of any or seen any, so um, I, I think it would need to be continued in that case. Well, maybe not. Uh, if they did, we'll, we'll confirm if uh, they were properly served and why aren't they here? Oh, excuse me. I did miss that the appellant is not here as well. Okay. So we will call that in regular order. Just note that uh, be given that it's a very large corporation uh, in the construction business that very likely it's uh, LLC or corporate. They'll need an attorney to represent them. I just want to raise that matter for at the moment. So if you have a way to connect with them, you may be, maybe you can reach out to them or someone can reach out to them, find out what's going on. Uh, it's surprising that they aren't presently represented. Okay. Well, uh, I, I guess from the city's perspective, it is, you know, at this point, 2 p.m., as you said, this is a fairly sophisticated entity. If there are no service issues, then the city would be requesting that this be marked a city or firm for failure to appear, um, you know, given, as you mentioned, that this is a sophisticated entity. Right. Well, thank you very much. We will call in regular order and come back to you. Okay. Thank um, you. Uh, the next matter that the board has uh, some concern about is uh, number 17. That's HA-2022-003551, 7121 Woolston Avenue, Quiana Swenson, who's representing the city. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Ms. Simpson, just for a moment, Ms. Swenson, uh, uh, who's representing the city? Uh, Michael Rulo again on behalf of the city. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ms. Simpson, Ms. Swenson, rather, it appears that uh, this property is owned by LLC or corporation. Is that the case? Yes, I'm just a tenant here, but oh. I'm responsible. I'm responsible for the grass. Okay, uh, so you you were not named in the violation. No, the landlord when he got it, he got it in the mail. He took a picture of it, sent it to me. So we went to the small uh the office that's near us on Hay Street, and then she they told us to put into a pill. So I just did it. In my name, because I am responsible for the grass. That's why I did it. So I don't know if how he's going to handle it because he's sick and it's just a bunch of excuses. Okay. Him, so. Well, the re reality <laughs> of it is that he's required as an LLC owned property. He has to have a lawyer represent him. That that's what he should have done. Should have sent it to his lawyer in addition to sending it to you. So, uh, Mr. Rulo, how do you propose handling this today? Well, yeah, at, at this point, the violation has not actually been issued to, to the appellant. So there's not an outstanding violation in the name of this, uh, this individual. Um, the entity's not here. They don't have an attorney. So, so our position would be that, um, you know, if the board at this point, um, that it be, you know, uh, marked, uh, 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 excuse me, um, moot because we don't have a appellant here, essentially. Okay. And it will be a violation. Okay, wait a minute. So the violation was written uh, and it was properly uh, served on, well, uh, forwarded to uh, this Wilson Avenue address? No, they forwarded that and I have a copy of it right here. They sent it directly to his house in South Hampton. Let me see. I got okay, that's okay. You don't have to put it on the record. I just want to, so. Uh, yeah, they, they mailed it to, to his house that's listed under his, you know, okay. under his name. 
Thank you and very much. Uh, Mr. Winston, that's okay. okay. Just, just for a moment. Uh, okay. Mr. Rulo, uh, it's clearly someone who did not uh, follow through on the procedures that are noted in the violation. Uh, it's clear that he received the correspondence. And so with that knowledge, what, what is your preference? Um, I ask that the uh, matter be marked uh, dismissed because the uh, appellant here does not have standing to appeal the violation. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, well, clearly that's that's the case. Uh, Ms. Swinson, as a tenant in this matter, given that the owner is responsible uh, for responding to violations, are, are, less, are you his paid agent or anything or just a resident in the building? Just a tenant that I pay my rent. That's okay. It. Is it a single family property? Yes, yeah, a house. It's a rural home. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to ask Mr. McSherry, um, just quick counsel, is it appropriate just to dismiss it for lack of standing? I, I mean, I believe that's appropriate. I mean, he may have an agreement, the, the landlord may have an agreement with the tenant that, that she has to remove weeds, but ultimately, you know, the 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 uh, violation was issued issued to him as the landlord. He, he would be responsible for, for addressing this with the city. And you know, you know, he may have a separate agreement with her that, that she has to remove the weeds, but it's really his duty as as the landlord or his LLC as the landlord to to actually appeal the violation. And then, yeah, so I think it would it would be appropriate in this case. He can't he can't okay. just send her in in, in his speed. To right, uh, Miss Winston, what it comes down to, he should have sent that to his lawyer. Uh, in addition to you, if that's what you two have agreed to, but you can't represent it. So your your appeal uh, has been dismissed for lack of standing. Miss Sherry, do I need to vote on that? Um, I, I think it would be appropriate to, to, to hold, a, hold a quick vote. Yes. Okay, uh, Miss Winston, you understand what I just said though before we take the vote. I mean, uh, can I just make sure I heard it right? So pretty well, much you're just, you're pushing it out because he's not here or his lawyer is here to represent it. So that correct. means he got to come back. That mean, Yes, that means the violation stands. That means that penalties probably will apply if he doesn't respond quickly enough. And okay. you as the tenant are, don't, do not have standing to uh, submit uh, this appeal. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I can go. Yes, ma'am. You, if you unless you want to stay in here to vote, we're going to vote on it right now. Uh, yeah, I'll wait for the vote and then I. Okay. Uh, HA 2022 zero three five five one seven one two one Woolston Avenue, Kiana Swenson, dismissed for lack of standing. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Swenson. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Okay. Uh, just want to check my list here, see if there's anything else the board has questions about. Yes. Uh, go bring your attention to uh, numbers 32 and 33. 32 is HA-2022-0020175648 Malcolm Street, Derek Hopkins, loops listed in error. Uh, scheduled for July 18th, 2023. Uh, number 33, HA-2022-002612-5954 North 19th Street. Ilson Petrusen, I'm sorry, Ilson Perusen, P-R-U-S-S-I-E-N. That was also listed in error. It is scheduled for July 18th, 2023. Just want to make sure that the record is correct for that. And I believe that represents all of our preliminary matters. Mr. Chairman, I think yes, Mr. Chairman, I think number 34 is also listed in error and is also yes. a July 18. I assume yes. July 18 hearing. Yeah, council for the city raised that earlier. So that's why I didn't do it this time. Oh. So I'd already crossed it off. All right, thank you. Mr. Chair, do we have anything for number eight? Number eight? No. Uh number eight, yes. Uh Oh, yes. I'm going to go back. We're going to call that when our regular order. Okay. Number eight. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. So let's let us move on now to the list of cases to be resolved today. That brings us to the top of the list. Case number one, hearing appeal number HA 2022-003664-5248 Belfield, Albert Chua. Okay. Who's representing the city? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Chuba, we'll need you to unmute. Uh, yeah, I'm also, going to unmute it now. 
I mean, okay. need to see you. Need to see there you go. There's your image. Yeah. Okay, who's representing the city? Beg your pardon. Uh, just a moment, Mr. Chua. Just one moment. Uh, let's see here. I don't have anyone speaking up. I believe this was done in error. Who's speaking? I believe it was two. This is Martin Burris. Okay, Mr. Burris, are you? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, with, I'm with Alberto Chua. I believe we, we put two two appeals in by mistake. Okay, Mr. Burris, just for a moment, please. So uh, I just need to get your counterparty on the screen. Excuse me. I, I apologize, members of the board. If this is about appeal number one with appellant Alberto Chua, yes. I'm representing the city in that matter. I, I apologize. Uh, I was on the phone with an inspector. Okay. All right. Now, uh, Mr. Burris, what is your relationship to Mr. Chua in this appeal? I'm a tenant. And do you have an appeal that you submitted yourself? Yes, I believe I was I was going to clear it up because I believe that we 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 put in two appeals by mistake and I paid for two appeals. I think this is the second one because the first one was actually going through. OK, we had here we had a Zoom meetings and stuff about it. OK, let's do this. I'm Mr. not sure. If this... OK, Mr. Burris, let's do this. Your name does not appear on this. So at this point, you are not to speak anymore. Mr. Chua will have to talk to him. OK, uh, we'll do that. And before we do anything else, I'd like Mr. Chua to raise his right hand so he may be sworn. Do you okay. swear or affirm the testimony you give today, sir? Be true to help you, guy. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, thank you very much. You can place your hand Hold down, on. Mr. Fernandez. Do you have a witness for today? I do. The uh, city's witness is Inspector Anthony Williams. Mr. Williams, good afternoon. Would you raise your right hand? Do you swear or affirm the testimony you give today? Be true to help you, guy. Yes. OK, thank you. Uh, Mr. Fernandez, would you care to proceed? But in your preliminary comments, please, is there any clarification you could offer uh, on the comments that was raised earlier by Mr. Burris? Um, I am afraid I didn't catch those comments. However, I do have a introductory statement or, or opening statement that I think will shed some light because just shed some light on, on this appeal because it is a, um, an unusual one, to say the least. OK, so let's do that then. Sure. Um, the matter before you is Mr. Chua's appeal of a notice of intent to cease operations. However, uh, the first thing I want to highlight to the board is that the violations underlying that notice of intent to appeal issued in December of 2019, those were appealed and disposed of in July 2022. So, uh, of course, I'll walk through this with Inspector Williams when it's appropriate, but uh, in the exhibits, I have two notices of violation, 720132, issued 12 19 and below it, 720134, also issued on December 30th, 2019. 720134 is for um, performing a uh, use at a property without the required use registration permit specifically cease motor vehicle painting on premises without use registration permit at quality, uh, quality automotive. The next exhibits that um, uh, the board can take notice of or Inspector Williams can testify to are the appeal packets submitted for those two violations. This one for 720132 and scrolling down just a little bit, this appeal for 720134, appeal number 40014, received by the board and it looks like January of, um, well, I can't make that out upside down, but uh, received by the board. Finally, next exhibits are the dispositions dated, uh, the decision date, July 26, 2022, date of notice, July 29, 22, city affirmed on 720132 and city affirmed on 720134 appeal type use registration permits. Uh, so the city's position here is quite simple. Uh, the violations at issue here have already been heard by this board. Uh, the board has decided in the city's favor on both of those violations. The notice of intent to cease operations was issued under 720134 for operating without a use registration permit. Inspector Williams would testify that there has been no legalizing permit obtained by Mr. Chua's tenant and that the use continues 
uh, as of his most recent inspection, which I think was last week or perhaps even earlier this week. Um, and that is the, the city's case that this matter should be moot because it's already been heard by the board. Okay, uh, I'm curious though, well, two questions I have of Mr. Chua before we get started. Mr. Chua, uh, who owns this property? I own the property. And your name alone? Yeah, I'm name, my name is there. Okay, now the record is showing that the city already, uh, the, the appeal board has already made a decision in this matter. Why are you appealing? It? What's the basis for, the, for this appeal? Basis, the basis of appeal because uh, my tenant want to continue his business operation in the property. So we have to still appeal. Uh, you lost your appeal, but you, but you lost your appeal in 2022. So what should, what should I do now? You shut down or you, you make it legal. You had two choices, either make it yeah. legal or you actually have one choice, you make it legal. Cause yeah, if you don't make it legal, it. you're gonna be shut down. Yeah, we have to make it legal, of course. Yeah. So, I mean, what's the, there's no additional, we aren't going to rehear the old case because uh, that's already been heard and decided. Is there something new that's happened? Is there a new violation that's been written? No, Chairman. Uh, I, I don't know if that question was directed to me. Um, I, was, I was asking Mr. Chua, but okay. you may also, just in a moment, I'll get back to you because I'll ask you the same questions. Mr. Chua, have you gotten any additional new violations from anyone? No, I never received any uh, new violation. Okay. Do you have a lawyer who represented you in this matter? I used to have a lawyer. Why don't you have one today? Because uh, uh, I don't know. I need, I need a lawyer for today. Okay, you had a lawyer before, which is a good idea. You probably should have had one today. He would explain to you that you can't reappeal the same decision that's been addressed. Mr. Mm -hmm. uh, Fernandez, uh, for the record, have there been any additional uh, violations written since this decision date in 2022? No, sir. The um, city action that was appealed to this hearing today, right now, that we are currently uh, discussing was done under 720134 the notice of violation issued in uh, December 2019 and disposed of by this board in July of 2022. Okay, were both matters disposed of on the same date? Yes. Okay, all righty. Let me do this. I'm going to invite my board members to join me in a breakout room for a moment and we will be back to you momentarily. There's, there's nothing absolutely I can say. I can speak to Mr. Um, Mr. Rubilia, Mr. Fernandez. Uh, I, I apologize, the members of the board have left the room and so um, I can't discuss anything until they return and give their blessing for such a discussion. But he asked me not to speak, but he asked me not to speak, but I was just wondering if I can speak when they do come back. You can ask to speak and they'll they'll make a decision. Because if you notice, the days is always hey, in please, the uh, Mr. Burris, please uh, hold your commentary until they're back. Jamie, oh. Jamie, please pause the recording. Pardon? Okay. Okay, Mr. Fernandez and Mr. Ch Chua, this is where we are. We re went back and uh, reviewed the record again, and this is a fairly complex set of proceedings. Uh, what we've determined is that the previous cases were on the underlying violations, which were affirmed, city affirmed on July 26th. Subsequent to that, a cease operations notice was posted, which gives the appellant apparently an additional 30 days to appeal, which the appellant did appeal. And so the case today is on that six violations notice. So we've agreed, we determined that we'll hear the case today on the cease violations uh, notice, the appeal of the cease violations. Okay, so we'll proceed for today. Fair enough. And um, before we actually uh, proceed, I'm, I'm happy to put the case on, of course, but I'd like to just lodge an objection for the record. Yes, uh, sir, please. Thank you. Uh, yes. City calls inspector uh, Anthony Williams. Thank you. Mr. Williams, you've been sworn, so let's proceed. Good afternoon, Inspector Williams. Uh, are you familiar with the premises operating at 5246 uh, Belfield Avenue? Yes. Uh, and is that also 5248 Belfield Avenue? Yes. Okay, bear with me for just a moment as I share my screen. Uh, 
Are you able to see my shared screen? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to scroll to page six of the city's evidence packet. Can you please explain to the board what document you're looking at right now? Oh, okay, before we proceed, Mr. Fernandez, just want to make one note, if I may. Uh, we're going to be focusing narrowly in on the cease, viol uh, the cease operations notice, okay? Fair enough, yes. Um, yeah, just want to not, rather than litigating okay. all the other underlying violations. Okay, um, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to switch to the appellant's excuse me, appellant's appeal packet and scroll to page two of that packet. Um, Inspector Williams, can you identify the document you're looking at right now? That's the intent to cease letter. Okay, and what violations uh, was the intent to cease issued under? That was for the use permit, uh, the, the not operating according to their zoning. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Are you able to see the uh, LNI file number on there? Yes. What is it? Seven two zero one three four. Okay. Is that notice of violation? Uh, is that does that correspond to a notice of violation? Yes. Okay. And is it for a uh, you, you you just said what kind of violation it is? Can you repeat it, please? It was for the uh, use per the, the obtain a use permit for the zone for zoning. Okay. Uh, to your knowledge, was the original violation appealed? Yes, the was, original violation was appealed. And what was the result of that appeal? It was uh, affirmed. Okay. Was this uh, cease operations issued after the violation was appealed? I mean, I'm sorry, the violation was affirmed by the board? Yes. Okay. When was your most recent inspection of this premises? Uh, last Friday, June 2nd. What did you observe during that inspection? Um, the parcel is still operating as it was um, the, the previous times I've been there. Okay. Um, have you had an opportunity to review LNI records related to this uh, property? Yes. Has there been any change in the allowable use that would authorize the uh, prohibited use? No, nothing, nothing has been approved. Okay. Finally, uh, back to the document on the screen that you've identified as the notice of intent to cease operations. What's the date on that notice of intent? Uh, the date was September 5th, 2022. Uh, what was the, uh, that was, which date was that? That, that was the day that the cease was, was to be taken place. Okay, and what was the date that the notice of intent to cease operations was issued? Was ju uh, July 28th, 2022. Okay, I have no further questions for Inspector Williams. Thank you, Inspector. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Jewell, do you have any questions of the inspector based on his testimony? At this time, uh, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. Chairman, can I postpone this appeal for another day? So no, I sir. Have preparation. Uh, no, sir. We're going to proceed and get this resolved now. We're going to continue through the hearing today. You have any questions of Mr. Williams? Uh, okay. You don't have any questions? Uh, at this time, I don't have any question. Okay, I got, to, I got to discuss. I got to talk of this thing with my tenants. Okay, you, you, be, you can wait, 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 he was muted for the record. Uh, he's uh, interrupting the, the proceedings of the hearing. Uh, Mr. Fernandez, do you have any further witnesses? No, I don't have any further witnesses. Uh, I would just have a very brief three sentence uh, Close. statement. Yes. Okay, before you do that, I'm going to uh, allow Mr. Chua to come back in and ask him if he has any information he would like to present or witnesses, okay? Uh, please unmute Mr. Chua. Uh, is that, can we do that remotely? Does he have to do it? The prompt. Okay. I'd like uh, to send my- Mr. Chua? Yeah, I got the- no, Listen to me, Mr. Chua. Mr. Chua, Mr. Chua yes. listen to me. One thing will not happen. You will not disrupt this hearing. We have I'm a sorry. procedure to- we have sorry is is inadequate if you don't listen and follow the proceedings. You were muted because you refused to listen and you continue to speak. 
Now it's time for you to put on your case, to give us any facts, information you have. If you have any witnesses, please bring them forward. After okay. you've done that, we will then vote on your case. What do you have to offer? Okay, I offer, uh, i like to have my witness uh, present in the meeting. Okay, Mr. who is that? Who is your witness? Uh, Mr. Martin Mo uh, uh, Burroughs. Is Mr. Burroughs present? If Mr. Burroughs present, please speak up. Is Let he with you? He was the Mr. Burroughs, if you are you present? Uh, Mr. Burroughs is not responding, Mr. Chua. Mr. Well, Chair, is that Mr. Burroughs down there under Samson F SM? I don't know. Uh, Mr. Way, can you help us identify that individual? It is that individual. He's left the room multiple times and I've renamed him, but uh, every time he leaves, he loses the audio and his name changes. Okay, so that's, you think that's Mr. Burroughs? And the, he, had yes. bad, he had a bad connection. Okay. Hello. Oh, just one minute message. Oh, he's on the phone. Yeah, Is that the gentleman who now I? Yeah, it appears that he's in a vehicle though as well. That may be part of the problem. But it didn't look like he was moving. No, it did. In the same cloud seemed yeah. to be above the sky. And he's still muted. <clears throat> yeah, I think he's on the phone with Mr. Chua. Okay, so can we unmute Mr. Uh, Samsung SM? Mr. Wade, can you call him in, see what you can get him? I'm trying. Hello. Yeah, my witness is in the screen. Okay, we're waiting for him to respond. He had, we need to have him respond to us. Yeah. It looks like the clouds are moving. Chris? He can't hear us. Yeah, waiting for you. Well. He he is not responding. Uh, no, uh, he. I don't know if he can hear us. Uh, we certainly can't hear him. Yeah. Uh, well, just one moment. Let's see if an IT person and, and administrator can help. Uh, uh, James, should I put him in the waiting room and bring him back in? Yeah, let's do that. See if that'll help. We got it working earlier, but since he's leaving, it's messing up the connection. Okay. Hello. Yeah, they are waiting for you to show up. Ah. Ah. Six one zero five one. Ah. Uh, six one zero four five seven nine one nine five. Four five seven nine one nine five six one zero. Four five seven nine one nine five. See if we can bring it back in, Mr. Wait. He's in. He's in. He's not responding. Okay. Mr. Chua, do you have any other witnesses? Because uh, your witness isn't responding. There's a problem with the connection. I can hear you. I think I can hear you now. I can hear you now. I can't hear me. This is Vic. You can hear me? Mr. Chair, find out if he's driving, if he's moving yeah. around in the vehicle. Okay. Thank you. You can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. But can you give us, sir, can you give us your image so we can see you as well? I'm, I'm looking at my image. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to do this. Okay. Are you driving, sir? No, I'm in the car, but I'm sitting still. Okay, all right. Uh, if if you could you know, just stay right there, we're gonna we're gonna try to be patient to hear hear you out, Mr. Cho. You have some questions for your witness. Oh, before sir, give us your name. Then I need to swear you in. How about that, Martin Burris? And raise your right hand, sir. Do we have a hat on? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, just a moment. 
Uh, actually, take your hat off. Hat on. Yes, and raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you give today be the truth to help you guys? Yes. Okay, you can place your hand down. Now, mm -hmm. Mr. Chua has asked that you uh, participate as his witness. Mr. Chua, what questions do yeah. you have for your witness? My question uh, is that he have to explain all the bad, uh, 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 to do, uh, to complete all the violation. I think all the violation are being uh, certified at the present time. Not, not we are talking about two, three years ago. And, and my tenant at the witness, he needs the business. Okay, but we have to ask him a question so he can respond. Oh, you can ask him a question. Okay. You have to ask him a question. He's your witness. If my witness, I got to ask him a question. Yes. Uh, I call him Mr. Boros. Is all the yeah. violation being collected? Ms. Burroughs, I think he asked, are the violations being corrected? And before yes, we proceed, they are sir, at this moment. We're, we're actually in, in, um, in um, communication with the zoning board. We, we have zoning here and stuff set up. We want okay. to Zoom meetings with the zoning board. Okay, sir, you need to keep your hat off until court's done. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. And secondly, uh, secondly uh, what's the status of your zoning hearing? It's, it's continued until October, I believe that. I thought this was it. That's why I was saying there was two appeals. I thought that I'm not familiar with this city stuff. I'm really not. Okay. It, it's continued to October right now because I have to get a, um, um, I'm sorry. The people who make the plans about the area. Yeah. That's, that's what the issue was. I'm getting the, uh, the people who make the plans. Okay. About the area, like okay. they got to set up the plan. We got to give them the door. I actually had that, but the hearing is over. Okay, sir, you're you're. We we did not understand anything you said, and we have a court reporter who's trying to record everything you say. We'll need you to restate that. We're we're in communication with the zoning. We're trying to get zoning for this building right now. Okay. If, if, if I may. Sir, you break it up. You break it up. Sir, you break it up. So we heard the answer. What about now? We heard the answer. Now, what I'm going to do in order to hopefully advance this, uh, Mr. Child, I'm going to ask Mr. Fernandez from the law department to ask any questions that he may have. You okay with that? Yes. Okay, Mr. Fernandez, you have any questions? Um, yes, Chairman, uh, just a few. Um, Mr. I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot your name. Can you please give me your name? Sir? I think it's Barris. Barris, yes. Um, Mr. Barris, you said that there is a uh, zoning board hearing coming up in October, is that right? Yes. Uh, did you submit a zoning permit application that was rejected and appealed to that zoning board hearing? Yes. When did you submit that zoning permit application? I apologize. I don't have that paperwork with me, but it was right after we were, we were closed down at the end of last year. Right, right after, I guess you were saying them dates. We were closed down after that. And when we put the appeals in, they allowed us to open back up. Did, your, did you suggest it was at the beginning of this year, approximately? We had a here, we, we had Zoom meetings at the beginning of this they were setting up for the zoning board, but they had Zoom meetings and they was telling us what, the Zoom meetings, they was telling us what to get in order to have that, you know, the zoning pass. Yeah, Mr. Burris, my, my question was about the zoning permit application that was denied and then appealed to the zoning board. When was that zoning permit application made? I apologize, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't have any, any of that. Okay, do you have an, uh, an attorney? with the zoning board? Mr. Chair, it, is, it appears that he is moving and that's why we're getting yeah, an interruption. Right. It also sounds like there's a GPS uh, also speaking in the background. I'm not sure. Yes. <clears throat> the, Mr. Barris, we unmute yourself, please. 
Uh, uh, sir. I, 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 this is my first or second time on these two. All right. I, I, uh, my phone is continually ringing. Okay. All right. And uh, it is your testimony, sir, that you are not moving? The car is not moving? Oh, no, it's not moving. I'm sitting still. Okay. All right. Mr. Fernandez, any additional questions? Um, no further questions. Okay. Uh, Mr. Burris, it, did you, was there a community meeting on your application? Yeah, they had one, and, and I guess the community, I did what they said, like to get the paperwork out. We went to, we had the meeting, and barely nobody was there. So she okay. set up for another. You muted, sir. You muted yourself again. We had okay. set up for let me ask you this, sir. Are you operating now? Yes. Who, yes. who gave you authority to operate? The appeal. What, what appeal? Which the, appeal? I, I mean, not appeal, the, um, the set up with the zoning board. The zoning board? My representative, my, yes. The zoning well, we board. We put in gave the paperwork for the zoning board. But, but the zoning, I mean, they but, said it was okay. I'm, I'm not going to say the zoning board said it, but. But the, the guy that was dealing with the zoning board for me was saying that it's okay to operate. That's why we, we're not hiding. Is that somebody? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, sir. Is that person somebody you're paying to represent you? Well, he's a friend that's familiar with this stuff. That he was telling me, you know. Okay, so you don't have any official authority to operate. L and I didn't give you authority to continue to operate, correct? No. The zoning board itself did not give you authority to operate, correct? No, I was just told it because you put in that when you put in the uh, paperwork, it allows them to cease, you know, that okay. situation. How how long have you been operating in that location? Uh, five years. It always been a, um, a warehouse. Okay, that isn't the That's issue. That's what we mostly do. I just fix cars sometimes. Yeah, but that sometimes is a violation. And so I understand, I understand would, that now because of all this. Yeah. Okay. But if I may, if you look at the dates that the, the um, attorney was saying, Mr. Fernandez, it's the very beginning of um, COVID. And the last date is the very end of COVID. Nobody was out. We, we wasn't even in here. But it, I'm not I mean, sure. I understand the, the it's COVID. still my responsibility. <laughs> yes. Uh, the COVID, it, it, we've made accommodations for appeals. We've been operating on the appeal board throughout COVID. So COVID's existence is not uh, an impediment in this instance. But let's move on. Uh, Mr. Chow, do you have any any further questions of your witness before we move on? I like Mr. to, Chow? maybe the best thing is to reschedule the appeal. No, we aren't doing that. We're going to make a decision today. We, this thing has been lingering for years. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to make it. We're going to vote today. Today is your appeal date, so you should be prepared today to argue your case. Uh, there's nothing, nothing else from anyone. Anyone else have any questions? There are no choice. Okay. Anyone else have any questions? Okay. If not, we will call the vote. Um, may Mr. I? May I give a uh, closing? Second. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you, members of the board. Um, I, I, I won't belabor this. I'll get right to the point. Uh, this violation was issued in December of 2019 through the initial appeal to the Board of LNI Review. Um, the owner of the property and through them, their tenant, were able to continue this unregistered, uh, unpermitted use uh, all the way until uh, a decision was made in July of 2022. Uh, a few days after that, LNI moves to cease the property, as is clearly their legal right under the administrative code for operating without a required permit. Uh, just two days after that notice of intent to cease operations goes out, it is appealed to this board. And uh, I'd like to point out to the board that the appellant's uh, statement uh, asked for more time, asked for the extension of the date of cease operations to November 5th, 2022, so that they can take uh, measures to comply the violation. That's the only remedy requested by the appellant here. Um, finally, I will admit that there is an upcoming zoning board hearing in October of this year. However, not only is that uncertain to provide authorization to do the use that is currently being used, it, it, it's also not a excuse or uh, authorization to continue doing the unpermitted use until everything is resolved. 
Um, the city asks that the board uphold the city's intense notice of intent to cease operations here uh, so that the appellant and their tenant be prevented from continuing this unpermitted use until such a time as they acquire authorization to do that, perhaps through the zoning board or through other measures. Um, that's uh, all I have to say today. Thank you very much, uh, members of the board. Thank you. Thank you. Anything, if there's nothing else, uh, we will call the vote on number one, uh, appeal number HA-2022-0036664. Fifty-two forty-eight Belfield Avenue, Alberto Chu, City Affirm. 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 Uh, it's been unanimous vote. City Affirm, uh, sir. The appeal has been lost. Uh, you may appeal that decision if you choose to the Court of Common Pleas. If you need information, please check in with the uh, board administrator. They can help you. What well, can give you information as to how to submit an appeal. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next matter. This is case number two, hearing appeal number HA 2022 003486 7014 Walker Street, Ming Chen. Okay, uh, who's representing the city? Christopher Johnson for the city of Philadelphia. Afternoon, Mr. Johnson. Uh, members of the board, I believe that the petitioner in this case, the appellant has failed to appear. The city would ask that the board mark it as city of firm failure to appear. Okay, Mr. Uh, this was made on 426. Okay, so we, we confirmed uh, sir, the uh, serving. Um, Ming Chen, anyone here referencing uh, to represent the interests of 7014 Walker Street, Ming Chen? No one hearing any. Uh, what time do we have? Uh... It's 2.48, Mr. Woodson, Mr. Chairman. Okay, 2.48 p.m. Uh, we will poll the board on HA-2022-003486-7014 Walker Street, Ming Chen, City Affirm Non-Appearance. 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 So do you affirm non-appearance? Thank you very much. That matters disposal. Uh, I Thank think you. we're down, Mr. Wade. Are we on number eight now? Yes. Okay. Case number eight, hearing appeal number HA 2022-003481-2501 North 15th Street. The Pitterini Corporation, B. Pitterini and Sons, there was no attorney, no counsel listed on the appeal. Service was made to the appellant. Okay. And representing the city, Mr. Rulo. Uh, Michael Rulo again uh, on behalf of the city. Uh, hearing nothing, the city would request um, that uh, this be marked a city of firm failure to appear. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Pincus, what time do you have? 2.49 p.m. 2.49 p.m. Uh, let's poll the board on... HA-2022-003481-2501 North 15th Street, Pitterini Corporation, doing business TSB Pitterini and Sons. City Affirm, non-appearance. 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 Thank you very much. Okay, what's next? Case number 21. Hearing appeal number HA 2022-000151-4801 Glenmore Ave, Junita T. Jefferson. Okay, uh, Juanita T. Jefferson, uh, I see a muted phone. Okay. Yes, no, I'm here, yes, I am here. I, okay, yes. uh, we need to see your image, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, I had contacted the board informing them that I would not, I don't have the resources, I would not be able to do the Zoom. So I was following the instructions on okay. the hearing notice to okay. do the dial-in. And I had spoke with the woman at the beginning. I had mentioned that to her, but um, okay. yeah, I've been on the phone, she's muted and unmuted. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, who's representing the city and in this matter? Uh, Ms. Yeah. Ms. Jefferson, wait a minute. We'll, we'll call on you when we need, need you to speak. Okay. Just one moment. Who's representing the yeah. city? Good afternoon, Will Fernandez for the city of Philadelphia. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Fernandez. Do, sir, do you have any witnesses? I do. Inspector Brian Conaway is the city's witness in this matter. 
Okay, I'd like Mr. Conway to raise his right hand so he may be sworn. Uh, sir, do you swear a firm testimony you give today be the truth to help you God? I do. All right, thank you. you place your hand down. Now, Mr. Fernandez, before we proceed, uh, this instance, the appellant, uh, Ms. Juanita T. Jefferson, is not available via uh, Zoom so we can see her image. Uh, we will have her swear as to her uh, identity. Understood? Yes, uh, understood. Um, I'll lodge a- Any objections? Standing, yes, I, I lodge a standing objection with the understanding that the hearing will proceed. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Juanita T. Jefferson. Yes. Ms. Jefferson, yes. We, we will, we're going to ask you a few yes. additional questions to uh, confirm your identity. Uh, would you give us your full name, yes. date of birth? Yes. Uh, first name is spelled J-U-N-I-T-A. It's pronounced uh, Janita, not Juanita. Middle initial is T. Um, and the last name is Jefferson, J-E-F-F-E-R-S-O-N. And you asked for the date of birth? Yes. Yes. 10372. Um, and your address? The, for the, the address that is being appealed or my residential address? I want both. Or my mailing address. Oh, okay, so, so the um, address that is being appealed is the 4801 Glenmore Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19143. And my residential address is uh, 4550 Glenmore Avenue, Philadelphia, PA 19143. Okay, thank you very much. Now I'll ask you to raise your right hand to swear or affirm the testimony you give today be the truth to help you God. Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. I affirm. Okay, Ms. Jefferson, so, so how this will work, Ms. Jefferson, the city uh, represented by Mr. Will Fernandez will start first. He has a witness and he will take testimony from that witness. You will be permitted yes. to ask that witness questions after Mr. Fernandez has completed that. Is he have, if he has more than one more than one witness, he will do this repeat that process with any additional witnesses. And of course, you will be allowed to question any of those witnesses. After he's done, then you can present your side of the case. Uh, and if you have any witnesses, we will square them in and allow you to question them under oath. Understood? Yes. Okay. Just ask if we can't speak uh, out of turn because the court reporter is taking uh, a meticulous record of the hearing and cannot record more than one person at a time. So, yeah. So it would be that after he interviews yeah. his witnesses, then I would then um, speak to interview that particular witness before he moves into the next one. Correct. Correct. correct? Yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. okay. Ms. Fernandez, let's Thank proceed. You. Thank you. Um, before I uh, call my witness, a very brief overview of the evidence you hear today. Um, the appeal today is the appeal of notice of violation ending in 6618 issued to 4801 Glenmore Avenue. The violations issued there under are for um, not having a vacant property license and for uh, having a, um, uh, a vacant structure open and accessible uh, to passersby, etc. Um, I want to note at the outset that this violation, these violations are now marked complied. Part of that is because the appellant obtained a vacant property license. And part of that is because the city performed a clean and seal action, uh, I believe in January of this year, after um, continuing to grow more concerned about the safety of this property remaining in the state. Inspector Brian Conaway will provide the testimony, identify the documents and introduce some photographs of the property. With okay. no further ado, the city calls Inspector Brian Conaway. It's over. Mr. Conway? Yes. I'm going to share my screen and put the city's evidence packet up on the screen in just a moment. City exhibits page one will be shown on the screen. Inspector Conaway, can you see the city's exhibits? I can. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a touch. Can you please identify the document that you're looking at right now? This is a notice of uh, violation notice in order to correct. And what's the date on that notice? December 10th, 2021. What are the last four digits of the LNI case file number? 6618. Okay, and what property is this for? 4801 Glenmore Avenue. 
Okay, what violations, you can either do this based on your, your recollection or based on uh, the document that you have identified. Um, what violations were issued to this property in December of 2021? This was a uh, vacant property which was open to trespass. The violations were for the owner to seal all openings and to obtain a vacant property license. Okay, I'm going to proceed to city exhibit page four. I'm gonna cruise this one very quickly. Uh, can you please identify, what's the title of this document? This is a final violation notice. What's the date? January 13th, 2023. Okay. Um, was there a city abatement action performed at this property? Yes, it was. Can you tell me approximately when it happened or exactly if you have it in front of you or know it? Uh, I believe on or around the first of the year, January. January of this year? Correct, 2023. Okay. I'm gonna scroll down now to city exhibits, page seven. Uh, I'm gonna spin this around so that you can see this one head on. Uh, what are we looking at right now? We're looking at uh, some combustibles inside the structure, uh, combustible debris along with rubbish. Did you take this photo inspector? No, I did not. Does it, uh, have you been to the property? I have. Does this match your recollection of what the property looks like during your inspection? It does. It does. Okay, do you know where this picture was taken from? It looks like it may have been taken at the doorway. Thank you. I'm gonna scroll down now to the uh, page. Is this the property that you inspected during your inspections? It is. Okay, is there a uh, open window visible in this photograph? It is. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down a little more now. Does this match the property you inspected at this address? It does. Okay, I'm gonna proceed. What are we looking at here? Here we're looking at uh, openings in the structure along with uh, combustible weeds. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. That is the doorway. This is the do uh, first floor doorway, yes. You mean the doorway from that initial photograph? Correct. And Thank also you. open window on the first floor. Thank you. Finally, what are we looking at here? This is more debris, uh, looks like uh, car salvage parts and the door wide open. Okay, and finally, I think these are the last two. Can you please describe what we're looking at? This is where the clean and seal unit had uh, sealed the property. And what's the date on this uh, photograph? March 14th, March 14th, 2023. Okay, last but not least, also March 14th. Uh, can you just briefly, one sentence, describe what we're looking at? This is the rear of the property. Uh, we can see clean and seal had sealed the uh, second floor entrance back door once again on March 14th, 2023. Okay, based on your um, inspections of this property, your review of the photographs, uh, and based on your experience as an LNI code enforcement inspector, was clean and seal appropriate to maintain public safety at this address? They were. Okay, I have no further questions for the inspector. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, do, ma do you have any questions of the inspector? Uh, no, I, yes, I guess I'm here. Um, the inspector's name is Connolly, you said? Yes. Conaway. Yes, Conaway. Okay. Oh, Con Conaway, Conaway. Okay. Thank you. Um, Inspector Conaway, you said that you did the clean and seal and oh, excuse me. you found uh, auto parts that were on the property along with you said combustible weeds. Is that correct? If I was hearing correctly. Um, no, I didn't state that I did the clean and seal. No, but uh, my pictures do no, no. illustrate uh, auto parts, car doors and, and rubbish on the property. Yes. Okay, yes. And did you, did you notice a across the street, a business and also around the corner a business that are owner of uh, auto owned businesses? Okay. I object to this as both outside the scope of the direct testimony and irrelevant to whether the violations exist. Yeah. Okay, I have no uh, further questions for Mr. Conaway. My apologies, I, I was muted. Uh, there was an objection, of course, uh, so I'm going to sustain that objection. Y you don't have any further questions? <clears throat> no, for Mr. Conaway, no. Okay, Mr. Fernandez, do you have additional witnesses? I do not. Okay, uh, Ms. Uh, Jefferson, do you have any statement you'd like to make or yes. any witnesses? Uh, well, I would like to make the statement that I did with a permit 
from the city. Um, I did have it cleaned and uh, sealed and did comply with the structure part for which I was initially viola uh, in violation. And then during COVID period, criminals packed open, you know, broke into multiple times the structure of which I was only able to finance, you know, that initial cleaning and, and sealing and making it safe. I wasn't able to continue to do that during COVID, the COVID period in which people were, you know, continually breaking in. And um, I did obtain the vacant property licenses, which I do currently have right now also for the 4801 structure. Okay. And I do uh, want, okay, go ahead. I do have a couple of questions for you. Uh, Ma'am, yeah. how many investment properties do you own? You said how many? What I didn't hear that. What, how many properties? You said, how many? How, how many properties do you own? Oh, I currently own uh, three, a total of three. Okay. Uh, how many of the three are vacant? They all are vacant. One is a, a vacant. It was well, a lot, which um, I was told I had to have a vacant property license for, which I do. And the other two includes the 4801, which is uh, also vacant due to criminal, you know, the criminal activity that has occurred there. And I do have the vacant property licenses for all okay. three of those. So you are, do you consider yourself to be a, in the real estate business of owning property and renting it out? No, I don't because when I purchased it, I was not able to, when I purchased it, I, um, no, I do not. <laughs> Pardon me. I, I did purchase them to uh, renovate for myself, um, and yeah, I partially rent or rent out um, space in it, but that never arrived to fruition. And then, along with following me um, complying with those the violations, as far as having uh, the permit through a, a licensed contractor, which was uh, Cinco D's, Cinco D's LLC, um, that did the work and our contract was completed and as I said criminals then broke into the property okay. uh, you know during COVID we continued to break into the property so um, I do understand that the city of Philadelphia would need to take whatever measures in regard to the safety of the structure you know my I, my objection is just that it's unfair to me as a victim of criminals to just be fined constantly for you know for the, a violation. Oh, okay, but so what should happen if the building is open it to trespass? What should happen? Oh, I believe the the city should take the. I I know I don't have the money, the funds, the finances. But you're the owner, so you don't. To, you're the only to, person. To, that to, right. And you're the owner, so the only I person understand. we can hold legally responsible for that is, is the owner. Correct. Correct. I was just yes. Correct. Um, it was my understanding that the city needed to it, that the city can take the measures to you know demolish it or you know, whatever because I rather than it be um, an unsafe structure because I have uh, exhausted the funds that I had that okay. were able to that I did make the corrections to, of the violations. However, you know criminals, as I said, broke into the home, my the property, um, the neighbors across they just trash and dump and litter and loiter and and create all okay. types of um blighted situations of which i i don't have the funds to okay continue to keep you know after criminals break in i don't have the funds continue to just keep re um resealing and restructuring it or whatever Understood. so i did comply with those things i did comply with those and then i, I myself am the victim multiple times of criminals during COVID and continuing. It's okay. a continuous uh, situation. Thank you. Does anyone else have any questions of Ms. Jefferson? I have one, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. One, well, maybe three. Excuse me. Good afternoon, Mr. Jeff Ms. Ms. Jefferson. When when did you have your property cleaned yourself? You said when did I? Yes. When did you have it cleaned yourself? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, with the uh, under the permit from the city of Philadelphia um, by Cinco D's LLC, I had it cleaned and sealed in September 
And that was the last time you had a cleaned and sealed? That was the last time I had it uh, cleaned and sealed by um, a company as far as with that. And then I've, I've done saying, it was it, I mean, that was the only time too. that was the only time it was cleaned and sealed. My next question is, when did you have your properties broken into? You said when? Uh, yes. Multiple times during the COVID period. Um, so what year, what and, year was the last yeah, break in? Uh, I would say this, this year. Because it's a continuous thing. Well, well, no, no, no. Uh, along I'm, with going the back to, I'm going back to your notice, your violations. When did yes. you have your your property broken into during your violations? Be I don't I don't have exact dates, but it was be before and after the violations. After I paid the contractor to um, so correct that the would violations. be in twenty nineteen. So that would that be, that would be, be twenty nineteen also. 2019. Okay, right, so and 20, your contractor, year, you hired your contractor. To just clean and seal, and then, uh, to correct all of it. No, not just clean and seal. To correct the violations that were the what what violations uh, are you speaking of in 2019? The what ones violations that were on were that you speaking of? Right, the ones that refer to the rear facade, and also the there were three pieces of brick exposed, three uh, small pieces of brick exposed in the front like a to cover that up with the mortar or whatever it was and then um also to close the side up of which any people then turned around and so you and had a new facade so put on there so you had I'm a sorry, new facade put on your property there was the structure in the back in the rear there was the facade that was covered in um, to correct the violations and then as I mentioned the mortar por piece uh, portion so where there was mortar new, from the did you have a new facade installed for the for the for the rears where that was the vial that part of the violation Let's do this. Uh, I think, Mr. Washington, the Mr. Fernandez, would you pull up those photographs? I think uh, there's some photographs of the rear that may explain it more directly. Yes, and I, I suspect that perhaps we are discussing two different violations here. Uh, the violation. Okay, that's what today, I, Mr. Chair. That's what I was trying to get clear. Yeah. Because um, I, I, I don't see anything about that on this current violation. Yeah. Let's pull that photo up. <clears throat> yes, sir. So here is the rear of the property in uh, this is January, 2023, I think shortly before the clean and maybe immediately before the clean and And I can scroll through uh, more. Oh, my screen isn't shared, is it? Not yet. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Is, is my screen What's the case number, if I may, that um, you're referring to on this? Uh, I am not certain. Um, okay. Because I kind of understand where Mr. Washington is going for, because that permit that she's speaking of that was taken out in 2019 by the contractor, it actually expired. So that means the work wasn't completed and the inspector wasn't brought in to verify if the work was done. That also states on there that there would be a separate permit for the separate case number 698911 pertaining to the brickwork uh, that needed to be done to comply to make safe for That's why I was asking. Yeah, that uh, that seems very logical and, and likely to me. However, of course, um, you know, the matter before the board today is the violation right. 6618, which is just for the vacant property license and the uh, violations that resulted in the department's January 2023 clean and seal. Okay, okay. so Mr. Okay. Uh, if you just scroll up to that image there, no, no, up, 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 just up, no, no, the other direction. That that image. Right. I think that was part of what you were asking about, Mr. Uh, Washington. Right, because it doesn't, I mean, I mean I, since it's, Mr. Chair, I want to withdraw the question since it's not part of this case. Okay, all right. Okay. Thank you, but it's clear that some work was done. I don't know how old, uh, how long ago it was done, uh, but it certainly isn't adequate to seal that property up because the brickwork was never done. 
Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you. Correct. All right. Thank you. If there's nothing else, uh, Ms. Jefferson, do you have anything before we call the vote on this matter? Mr. Chair, I do have a question. Uh, yeah, yes. I, do. Okay. I have a question to Ms. Um, yeah. Jefferson. Ms. Jefferson, you stated when questioned that you own three other properties in the city of Philadelphia, correct? You asked for the total that I own, and I said I own three, a total of three. Okay. And all three are currently vacant, you stated, correct? I have a vacant property license for the, all three. One is a, a lot, so it's not, you know, it's, there's okay. not a structure there. So you so own it's three. So required to, I, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, so for the vacant lot, I was told I was required to keep a, uh, pardon me, um, a vacant property license for the lot. Okay. So and the I other two are structures. Oh, so two of them are, are actual residential buildings and one is a lot, correct? Correct. Okay. So you own three um, and out of the three, re two residentials are vacant, but you say you don't have the money to make the necessary repairs, correct? Correct. I after do after thank initially you. paying and completing my contract. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Yeah. Jefferson. Do you have anything further you'd like to add before we vote on this matter? Uh, yes, I would just I would ask if it's possible for there to be any empathy and leniency from the board because I did, as I was instructed, I did um, comply. <clears throat> to fix those violations and you know, I'm a victim of criminal behavior, criminal activity. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Fernandez, anything yeah. else before we vote? Um, yes, I would just say that there are no fines assessed to Ms. Jefferson in relation to these violations at issue today. Uh, there will be an abatement bill, uh, the city's actual incurred costs uh, sent to her and if not paid leaned on the property, but that bill is of course not before the board today. So uh, considering the evidence that was put before this board, um, I think it's clear that the violations as written were correct. And I would ask that the board affirm the city's issuance of said violations. Thank you. We will poll the board uh, regarding HA-2022-000151-4801 Glenmore Avenue, Junita Jefferson, uh, City of Fair. City affirmed. City affirmed. City affirmed. City affirmed. City affirmed. Thank you very much. Ms. Jefferson, the city's position has been affirmed. Your appeal has been lost. You may appeal our decision and uh, check in with the board administrator if you need information as to how to do that. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Okay, let's move on to the next matter. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, yes, at this sir. Point, can we re uh, recall case number 19? 19. Hearing appeal number HA 2022-003083, 5334 Pine Street, Sayama Schuler was previously read into the record as moot complied. Um, Council for the city, I uh, wanted to readdress that. Okay. Who, who would do it? Uh, but this is Christopher Johnson for the city of Philadelphia. Uh, the board, I apologize, but this was mistakenly read in as moot complied. The violations of that property are not complied. It was a permit violation. Uh, Ms. Schuler did not appear here today, and I asked it to be recalled so that the board could uh, dismiss it for failure to appear. Okay, and this is a building permit matter, it appears. Correct. Uh, do you know if Ms. Schuler was here previously today? Uh, I, I did not see her log in here today. Okay, so we, uh, we will, board will recall the matter, uh, HA-2022-003083-5334 Pine Street, Seema Schuler. Service was made. Okay, uh, Mr. Pinkins, what time do you have? 3.16 p.m. 3.16 p.m. Excuse me, just to be clear, what number, what number is this we're recalling? That's number 19. Thank you. By 334 Pine Street. City affirm non appearance. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right, Mr. Wade, where are we now? Uh, 
I believe Mr. Fernandez uh, has something. Thank you, uh, Mr. Waden and Mr. Chairman. Um, case number 33 on the list with the appeal number ending in 2612, appellant Ilson Prussian. Uh, during the early parts of this hearing, actually the part where I missed my case being called because I was on the phone with the inspector, um, uh, I was informed that the violations underlying that appeal are now all marked complied. Um, the appellant had to submit some documentation, but it was reviewed and Inspector Hollis Crevel has determined that the last remaining violation uh, is being marked complied. So I would ask that that matter be marked moot complied. Okay, we list, it was listed in error for today's hearing. Oh. So it's, it's relisted on another schedule already. Okay. So, uh, a, so what, let's do this. Uh, so that we don't confuse uh, the record. Uh, allow it to remain and then check the July 18th record. Okay. That's where it's listed. And then we can make that correction there. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, so where are we? What's that next case? That should bring us to case three. I have 28, so I'm not sure. 28. Hearing yes. appeal number 80. Yeah. Case number 28. Hearing appeal number HA 2022 002831 668 North 52nd Street. Scotty Williamson. Okay. Uh, who's representing the city? Hi, it's Christopher Johnson for the city of Philadelphia. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I don't believe I've seen, seen Mr. Williamson appear here today. Okay, Scotty Williamson or anyone representing the interests of 668 North 52nd Street. No one present? Give me one uh, second. Was service made, Mr. Wade? Give me one second. Service was made. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what time do we have, Mr. Pincus? Uh, 319 p.m. 319 p.m. Okay. We'll poll the board regarding HA-2022-002831-668 North 52nd Street, Scotty Williamson, City of Firm Non Appearance. City of Appearance. City of Firm Non Appearance. City affirm non appearance. City affirm non appearance. City affirm non appearance. Thank you very much. Okay, I think we're down to our final matter. Case number 35, hearing appeal number HA 2022 002547 851 North 20th Street, Ronald Manuel. Ronald Manuel. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Ronald. Are you Ronald Manuel? <laughs> I am indeed. Okay, thank you. Uh, who's representing the city in this matter? Good afternoon. This is Michelle Reinhardt for the city of Philadelphia. Okay, Ms. Reinhardt, good afternoon. Okay, Mr. Manuel, would you raise your right hand so that you may be sworn? Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you give today be the truth to help you God? I do. Thank you. You can place your hand down. Uh, Ms. Reinhardt, do you have witnesses today? Yes. Um, Inspector Audrey Smith is the uh, witness for the city. Okay. Uh, Ms. Smith? Hello? Oh, yes, Ms. Smith, we need to see your image. Okay, wait a minute. Can you see me? No. There you go. Here I go. I can see you. Okay, would you raise your right hand so that you may be sworn? Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you give today be the truth to help you God? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Reinhardt? Excuse me, just real quick, Mr. Wade. Yes, sir. Mr. Wade. Mr. Wade. You have two Audrey Smiths. Okay. She's on two devices because she was having trouble uh, with her laptop. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing another person. Yeah. Okay. As long as the other one is not interfering with us. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so we, we should be able to proceed. Ms. Reinhardt. I'm sorry. I am having a little bit of technical difficulty every now and then. The volume appears to be freezing um so please let me know if there are any issues in hearing me okay i will at the moment everything is fine okay great 
Um, so uh, I'm gonna call um, Inspector Smith as the city's first witness. Um, this case is involving 851 North 20th Street. Are you familiar with this property? Yes. Uh, and can you, first of all, introduce yourself for the record? Audrey Smith, and, and, license inspection, code enforcement unit. Okay, and how long have you been in the code enforcement unit? About uh, 11 years. Um, you said that you're familiar with this property. Have you inspected it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to share my screen with what has been previously marked the city's exhibit packet. Is everyone able to see um, no. what has been previously marked exhibit A? Yes. Okay. Come on. Inspector. You just need to, you, I'm sorry, Ms. Reiner. You need to make it a bit larger. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, Inspector, I am showing you um, a notice of violation in order to correct dated May 13th, 2022. Um, do you recognize this document? Yes. Okay. Um, and it is it was issued for the instant address that we're talking about. Can you tell us what, first of all, were you the one who did the inspection for this particular notice um, of violation? I have to see what date that I went out there because it was me and quite a few inspectors, but on that date, I think I went out there. Um, the property looked vacant, but I don't think it was vacant. It was a bike in front. Um, the violation was for the rear, which I went back there and it still looked the same from when I first went there. Um, debris and uh, stuff in the yard and a bunch of foliage on the, on the gate around the gate, it still okay. was the same. Okay, I am moving to what has been previously marked exhibit B um, and zooming out to see it better. Yep, that's the back, yep. Okay, did you take this photograph? Uh, I might have took that one. So what does this photograph depict exactly? That's the back outside of his uh, yard. That's on his side. That's the back outside of his yard. That's another street um, back there anyway. That's another street. So I had to walk over there from 20th Street. That's the back. I don't know the name of that block, but that's, that's another block. But that's okay. his, his uh, rear. When you indicated that there was foliage on the back of the property, um, can you tell us uh, what you are looking at specifically with this photograph we, of the foliage? It looked like it looked like weeds. It looked like tree branches getting ready to grow. It's just that's what it looked like. A bunch of tree uh, foliage. And does that include the vines that we see at the yeah. top and the leaves? Yes. Okay. I'm moving to the second picture um, in exhibit B. What are we looking at here? Um, they look like a scooter, a barrel, some, I don't know what, they look like oil, canola oil or something in there, uh, empty other uh, uh, container and some trash. Okay. The and side. You, you, so you said this is the side yard? Inside, the, inside the gate, inside the bay. Okay. Um, and moving to uh, the third photograph in exhibit B, what do we see here? That's uh, look like the back part of the house, trash bags, black trash bags. I don't know what's in it. Um, I don't, it looked like a pan with some old water in there, just some debris stuff. Okay. Um, moving to exhibit C. Uh, That's the front of the building. Okay. Um, you're speak, you're just to make the record clear, you're talking about the first photograph in exhibit C. Yes. Okay. And did you take this photograph? Yes. Do you know when you took it? Um, last week, uh, let me, let me look on my thing. Hold on. May, wait, I gotta get my pictures up on my phone. Hold on. Hold on. 
<clears throat> Inspector, um, there appears to be a date on the bottom of the photograph um, of April 21st, 2023. Um, would that date be correct? Yeah, I took another one too, just last week, May or something. Okay. But the same one, same, same photo. Okay. Um, you have reviewed the record for this property, correct? Yes. LNA, LNI's records for this property? You talking to me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and LNI, okay. is it fair to say that LNI conducted an inspection on April 21st of 2023? Uh, yeah. Okay. And that was Inspector Battle, correct? Yeah, because I look, yep. Okay. Uh, well, um, just one thing, Miss Smith, we yes. really like your answers to be yes and no. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. So moving to what has been previously marked, the second photograph in Exhibit C, um, what what does this photograph show exactly? Uh, it looked like a Christmas tree, some wood, a hose. Uh, on the side where the meter is. Ms. Smith, please, uh, I must apologize to interrupt you. Mr. Manuel, you're moving no, around and the wind is creating a noise distraction. So if you would could okay. get to one place and remain there, uh, okay. stationary, please. Absolutely. Preferably indoors, because the wind is creating a problem for uh, the hey, side. I can't get indoors, but, but I can we'll, we'll hide from the wind. Um, my apologies, Ms. Smith, you can continue. Okay, it looks like a old Christmas tree or some kind of tree with a bag on it, a hole, some wood, plywood, and look like it's on the side, on the, maybe another side of the building. Okay, and just to note that the Christmas tree uh, is documented there in late April. Is that is that fair to say? Yeah, that's what the pictures say, April. Yep. Okay. Um, moving to the next photograph um, of the same date, uh, are the vines the same and the vegetation the same as when you first visited the property? No, it looked like some of it's gone off, some of it's off. And is, is the violation complied? Um, I don't think so. Well, okay. wait a minute, wait a minute. I need a yes or no <laughs> if the violations are complied. Based on your no. inspection, okay. You no. you inspected it no. recently, Miss Miss yeah, Smith. I, I Ms. Smith it recently. Miss Smith, Miss Smith, do not speak until I complete my statement, okay? Once I finish, then you can respond. The question is: Upon your last inspection, were the violations complied? No, because I have thank you right here. Thank you, Miss Reinhardt. Please. Uh, thank you. Moving to the next photograph, um, in Exhibit C. What what are we looking at? Uh, exercise to put weights. Let me see. It looked like a oil can from a scooter or motorcycle, some wiring over there, some wood. Uh, I don't know what that blue big container, I don't know if it's a cooler or not. Green tarp. This is some junk. Okay. Moving to the next photograph. Um, is this essentially a different angle of um, some of the same things that we see in the rear of the property? Yeah, because you can see the bike now. Yep, there's some more tree branches. And the next photograph is essentially the same? Yeah. Okay. Um, and you said that the last time that you were at the property um, that, that all the violations remained? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I have no further questions. Okay. Mr. Manuel, do you have any questions of the inspector based on her testimony? Uh, no. I, well, except um, I was at this appeals court 
once before, and they told me they would notify me before the. Uh, um, Mr. Manuel, that I'm asking if you have a question for her. Then, and once you, once the city's done, you can present your understanding of the facts. Okay. Okay. No, I have, I have nothing to ask her. Okay. Thank you, uh, Ms. Reinhardt. Any additional witnesses? None. Okay. Mr. Mr. Chair, I just had one question for um, yes. Inspector Smith. Yes. When did you uh, last inspect the property? May the 30th. And you didn't take any pictures then? I took pictures. I've been having problems getting pictures to go on my um, case, but I got them right here on my phone and it looked it looked worse than that. It's still vines and stuff. He okay. did nothing. Okay, Ms. Reinhardt, you don't have access. I take it you don't have access to those those photos, those images. Um, if Did you if I could request a five minute break, I could see if I might be able to. Pull no, 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 no need to do that. Just ask it. I just want to following up with uh, Ms. Washington's request. But the photos that were taken of the last inspection are not currently in the exhibit package, correct? Correct. Okay, thank you. Right, Ms. Washington, any additional questions? You, you, you're muted, sir. I'm sorry. No, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Mr. Manuel, do you what do you have to offer in terms of uh, your appeal? Well, my uh, the um, I was at this um, meeting once before and was told I'd be notified before the inspectors came, which I just all I got was a notice on my door that they were there, but they, I don't know nobody answered, nobody was home or they didn't hear the knock. But uh, so and there was check marks on that for me to apply for a reinspection. And I called the number that Ms. Um, Smith had checked, and they said that's not the correct office to do. Call the one at Cecil B. Moore. And then I tried to reinspect. I tried to explain them I need an inspection before the court date, but they couldn't make that happen. But they said there was already one scheduled for the end of July with a Miss Battle. And I also have to say my yard's impeccable at this moment. And I would really, there's no vines on my gate. I'm growing vines on my fence that I've been growing since 1992. They, they provide security, shade, privacy, and I'd like to continue to grow those vines unless, you know, unless they okay. erode something. Do you have any photographic uh, evidence, uh, Mr. Manuel, that you can share with us? No, not at this moment. I, I'm, I'm out in the country right now and barring a friend's Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, Mr. Manuel, when did you clean up your property? Oh, I'd started before she was, she should have seen a great improvement, but, uh, but it's even better now. Okay. That's why I'm asking. When is, what date did you complete the clean up of your property? To complete, I'm, yeah, last week I'm continually improving my property. Okay. I planted so, flowers on back, you know, it's, it so, got a little... so essentially you haven't yet completed the cleanup. Oh, yeah. yeah let me bring my wits. I would say it's complete, but I'd, I'd like my yard to be even nicer. Can, I... can my son speak on my behalf here? Uh, well, we can swear him in as a witness if you want okay. him to be a witness. Okay. There you go. He wants to talk, say something. I, I'd, I'd like to speak if I may. I'm... Okay. Uh, what is your name, sir? My name is Maximilian Manuel. I'm his son. Okay. Raise your right hand. You swear a firm the testimony you give today will be the truth to help you guide. I do. Okay, what do you have to offer? Uh, I'd like to add a, just a couple of details um, about the circumstance. Uh, we okay. had a fire uh, a few years ago, which precipitated the sort of mess. Um, it was an uh, incident with some neighborhood children. Um, the fire department was, was fantastic, but the property was left not looking as nice as it generally does. Um, I want to also point out that Christmas tree in the front's been removed. Uh, my parents had some sickness. It was harder to, to uh, get things done uh, this past couple months, but that Christmas tree's been removed. The back is, is much cleaner. Um, as, I, as my father pointed out, he's been cultivating. Uh, the, the plants are primarily uh, Virginia creeper vines, which are often cultivated um, and grow on houses. Uh, he's, uh, the neighborhood was not as nice when he moved in. Um, and that, that screen of plants, um, again, the fire took it. So it looked really, really ratty. Looks a lot nicer now. Again, primarily Virginia creeper, which is something that doesn't uh, destroy buildings, but it's been a screen um, that we've had for years and have talked with city people about, I can't name names, but it's, it's never been a problem before. Uh, I understand that it, it looked really ratty uh, and that the process of getting it looking nice has been perhaps taken longer than we would have liked. But um, as of right now, 
I mean, the, 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 my wife's in Barcelona, but uh, the refuse has been removed. Uh, the, the sort of uh, screen of plants is looking a lot nicer and will continue to do so. Uh, Mr. 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 Ronald Manuel, I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Maximilian Manuel, do you have any photographic evidence to support uh, your position? We, I'm sorry, we've been away for work for uh, a little bit and, and we, we don't have any, I can get those to the board if that would be, I no, don't have any. Today is the date set from your appeal. So you have to defend your appeal today. I have only it's, my work then. Yeah, we, today is the, it's the date and time. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. It, well, before you leave, uh, Ms. Reinhardt, do you have any follow-up, any cross-examination of uh, Mr. Manuel? None, none. Okay, all right, thank you very much. All right, okay. I think that's all I have, thank you. Thank you. Any follow up questions from anyone? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, can we have met the, there was a scheduled at the end of July reinspection by Miss Battle. Can we just go on that one or are you going to make a decision today or what's the process? Well, uh, the process was to make a decision today. And we do have an inspection that was conducted on May 30th based on testimony from Miss Smith. And so the okay. issue is, is whether or not the testimony, Ms. Smith's inspection on, on the 30th indicates no progress had been made. And no, so she, she is in my same situation as me and has no pictures. Uh, no, we have photographs of uh, no, what's, the what's, the, what's, the, what's the date of the latest photographs? May the 30th. April 21st of this year. April 21st of this year. Okay. And so we don't, but is uh, Ms. Smith's testimony that as of the May 30th, 30th. inspection, uh, there was not significant improvement. Well, That's she, I, I respectfully beg to differ with her. The Christmas trees were obviously gone. I've been cleaning up my yard every day since then. Okay, Miss Smith. Yes. You understand? We can hear you when you're not muted. We can hear your conversation. So if you're going to have a conversation outside of testimony, please mute yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. What is on her mean? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ms. Reinhardt, what do you, what, where are we? Uh, in order to make um, a statement in closing, um, I would say that the, the purpose of the appeal is um, to dispute whether the violations existed at the time that the notice was written. I would submit that the city has um, both met that burden and met that it continues to be a violation. Um, there have been photographs taken over the course of um, a number of months at this point in time, both of the rear of the property, of the side, and of the vegetation in the back. Um, it is not only the vegetation on the gate itself, but some of the vines um, and uh, other overgrowth. That was the concern as well. Um, so I, while we don't have the photographs from the May 30th inspection, which is the most recent, I would submit that um, the rest of the photographs that were presented uh, substantiate Inspector Smith's descriptions of um, what she found uh, at each of her inspections previously um, and is consistent with the violations remaining. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I, I, I know this is probably burdensome, but I need to confer with my colleagues on the board for about three minutes. So we're going to go off, to, off the record for a moment. Before and we ask, confer, Mr. Chairman, I just yes, confirm. Miss uh, Inspector Smith, you said you were out and inspected the property on May the 30th. Is that correct? Yes. And the violation notices, uh, the violation notice that was written on this is dated May 13th, um, 2022, correct? And, and it relates to the rear yard and you showed us pictures that or Miss, uh, Reinhardt showed us pictures that were taken on April the 21st. Is it your testimony that the rear yard and the pictures of the rear yard that were taken on April 21st of 2023, that on your inspection in May, on May 30th, those conditions still existed on that date? Yes, some of them, yep, because I, I have them. I have the pictures of the same stuff. So the rear yard was still full of trash and debris on May the 30th. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Chair, I'm just, just. Yes, sir. We, we are comparing your testimony with Ms. Babel's pictures. 
Uh, there's no Miss Battle, I don't believe, unless she took the photographs that were on the share. Yes, I can mm -hmm. confirm that. Inspector Battle took the photographs from the April 21st, 2023 um, inspection. And um, Inspector Smith subsequently went out after that and found similar conditions. And she just testified, you know, previously that um, the conditions that she found were worse than those in Inspector Battle's April. Photographs. Did, did Inspector Smith go out there with uh, Inspector Battle to be able to say it's worse than it was before? To enable to state that, I was curious whether she went out with it to see that. Well, since we don't have since she haven't submitted any photographic proof of her testimony. Well, she reviewed the photographs from April, so she would be able to compare the photographs and from the April inspection with what she personally observed at the Is May. 30th inspection. No more question, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you. Uh, just uh, we'd uh, confer for a moment in the breakout room. Thank you. Hey, what Review the, the, uh, the board has conferred on the uh, information that was submitted. Uh, we prepared to uh, to vote on the matter, uh, both Ms. Reinhardt or Mr. Manuel, do you have any final statements before we hold the vote? I have I no final statements. Well, I mean, I'd like to add the barrel was actually a barrel I collect rainwater in, and the uh, the jugs that she refers to as oil jugs are water I save for my tropical fish because they like soft water. Okay. Other than that, I, all I like to say is the yards are impeccable at this moment. Okay, thank you. All righty. Um, We'll call the vote then on HA-2022-002547, 851 North 20th Street, Ronald Manuel, city firm with a 90-day stay of enforcement. Um, Mr. Chair, before we proceed, what, if, what about a 60-day stay? Because Mr. Okay, was, Manuel said that their uh, reinspection is scheduled for mm -hmm. July. I was trying to get beyond that, but you're absolutely correct. 60 days stay of enforcement. My vote then is city affirmed 60 day stay of enforcement. City affirmed with a 60 day stay of enforcement. City affirmed with a 60 day stay of enforcement. City affirmed with a 60 day stay of enforcement. City affirmed 60 days. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Manuel, this is what we just did. Uh, we voted to affirm the city's violation notice because at the time of the inspection, uh, the violation was there. However, we've uh, given you 60 days uh, to complete the cleanup uh, for the reinspection that you said has been scheduled. That'll come out and confirm that, and that should resolve matters. Understood? Okay, very good. Okay. Ms. Oh, Reinhardt, thank you very much. Can, can, excuse me, one more second. Can I... Uh confer with the inspector about my vines because I nearly love my vines. So. Well, that's when the reinspection comes out. You should talk to the inspector. In the meantime, you should call someone on it at the city to talk about what it is that you're growing. Uh, Ms. Reinhardt, do you have any additional advice for Mr. Manuel? Um, I would actually just recommend you can email me directly. I emailed you on, I believe it would have been Friday with the exhibit packet. Um, you can get in touch with me with what um, you would like to discuss with the inspector and I can put you in touch with the inspector who's going to be coming out next so that you can have that conversation. Okay, thank you. Oh, from the email that you mailed me about this meeting that today? Yes. That's the email? Okay, I have that then. Very good, thank you okay. very much. Thank you, sir. Have a good afternoon. You too, bye-bye. And I believe that, con that concludes our calendar for today. Uh, we will have a short executive session. Uh, if Miss Alfred is... Uh, with us, I'd ask her to join us in executive session. Thank you, everyone.